We're making pasta today with Adam Swanson. He makes the best pasta in a flash. Always. Pasta's <laughs> not hard at all. You know, this dish will be cooked in about eight minutes. The same time the pasta cooks in the water, dinner is ready. I love the sound of that. Let's get started with this. So just we're using San Remo spinach fettuccine mm -hmm. today and making a creamy leek and pancetta. So it's a little bit of a fancy take on carbonara mm -hmm. without egg. First thing to do, salt straight away. <laughs> then our fettuccine in. Twice. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> now, get a whirlpool happening with your water and drop that in like so. I find with fettuccine, amongst all the pastas, they do mm. tend to stick. How do we make sure that does not happen? Okay. So, by using a wooden spoon mm -hmm. to just evenly spread it through the water. Never tongs, okay? Because if you use metal tongs, it's going to split your pasta in half. Okay. So, using a wooden spoon like so. Yep. Done. Some olive oil into the pan. Yep. All right. Some butter as well. I'll get you onto chopping up the leeks for me, Jess. I'll do that. So. Uh, so just two large leeks here we've yep. cleaned. Yeah, very good. And then we're just going to finally slice that. I'll do one nice. at a time. So just slice the pancetta nice and thinly just. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this pancetta, it's got that lovely peppery crust to it, so we've got some nice flavour yeah. in it. It works perfect with this dish. So that needs to go into the pan. Mm -hmm. Rendering out all the fat with the butter and the olive oil. And then in with our leeks also. Did you want two or one? No, one we good. You've really? cut it really super fine for me okay. and I'm happy with that. And there's some garlic here. Did you want me to slice that for you? Yeah, just slices. Now, just you can see the pasta water is starting to turn a little bit green. That's the spinach and the fettuccine. Yeah. That water to me is gold. I don't want to waste it. One single bit. So once these leeks just cook for another minute, I'm going to take a good ladle full of that pasta water, mm -hmm. add it into our leeks, get the lid on and let them cook down. Beautiful. Pasta in. It pretty much speeds up the whole process. It does, it? yeah. And you know, whilst I was over in Italy, I learned that you know yeah. they use that pasta water. They never remove that pasta mm. water. It's full of flavour. In this case, spinach. Fabulous. <laughs> okay, just let's check the pasta. Oh, you want to okay. try some? Yes, please. Ooh, hot. Hot. Al dente. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> now, spinach fettuccine into mm. the pot straight in. Don't be scared to use a little bit of that water again. Sure. Okay. Love those colours. Nice. I think a little bit more pasta because yeah. it's for you and me. Yeah. I'm hungry. You're hungry? I'm always hungry though. <laughs> okay. Turn off the heat. Now in with the ricotta. So the residual heat within the pan will basically melt down the ricotta and make that nice creamy taste. Mm. I really like to use ricotta like this because it's kind of light, isn't it? It is. And you know that's my heritage where I grew up, you know? In oh, a cheese of course, factory. of course. <laughs> Here with some pepper. Mm. Lots and lots of pepper. In carbonara style, there's always a bit of pepper there of at course. the end. Yep. Last but not least, mm -hmm. I need some basil. And look at this basil. I mean, that's... straight out of the ground, strong, intense smell, isn't it? Is. It is. And no need to chop. Just pick those leaves. In they go. So what's happened is that ricotta started to melt down, coat the spinach fettuccine nicely. Mm -hmm. A good pasta, in particular, must not have too much sauce, okay? Yep. Shouldn't smother it, shouldn't have to get a straw to finish off the sauce on the bottom of the plate. You want it just to coat your pasta, sure. that way you enjoy it. Now, and you've I know, been teaching me that for years and years. I have, I know, it seems like I say it every time, but it is the key to cooking a good pasta dish. Sure. Now, I have taken the metal tongs now to serve. Yep. For me, pasta's like this, yep. a big plate of pasta, Take it to the table to share. For you and me, this is. Absolutely. Oh, 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 get on to that last string. <laughs> Can't waste it. A little bit more cheese, parmesan if you like. And I'm happy with that. Oh, oh, smells so good. It does. I can smell that basil. Just intense. And again, just, just a little touch more of pepper. Voila. Carbonara done in a different style. Yeah. I'm going to get a few forks because this looks sensational. Tell me what you think of the spinach fettuccine. You know, Absolutely. it's got this beautiful, subtle, little sweet spinach note. What do you think, Just? The creaminess from the ricotta's coat of the pasta. The leeks have become nice and sweet. I really like that spinach fettuccine and I love it more because you've just cooked it to perfection. It's one of those dishes where one mouthful's not enough. you just got to keep going. It's Good. just yummy. This is enough for just one person. <laughs> I like your stuff. <laughs> Thank you.